what is going on welcome to our everyday life today I'm replacing these vacuum motors that are in the, the vacuum system for my machine now honestly I don't even know how old these motors are the date on them Six twenty nine oh three, so they're very old. Now the thing is, they weren't used right away. Um, I usually keep some extra vacuum motors on hand just because, like for example, right now I've got three of them, and of course I'm gonna replace these two with two of them, and then I'll I'll order a couple more. But I think at the time I had like four or six of them on hand. So, when I put them in, they may have been six or seven years old, but they were still brand new. But I don't really keep track of the hours on these things. So, like I said, I have no idea how old they are, but... But they're pretty old. I have... I never really change the brushes or anything on them. I just use them until I think they need to be replaced and then I'll replace them. Now I was having a problem with these the other day. One of them was cutting off and I don't even know which one it was. But I didn't really care because it was really time to go ahead and replace both of them. You can see I got these nice brand new ones here. Let's see. Yeah, look at the date on here. 8-2014. And so, I've had these, what, about four years now. But I'd much rather have some spares so I can replace them out if I need to, rather than missing out on jobs and not being able to, to do them. And have you might remember the other day when we were having to replace a couple things and I had to replace my water supply line mainly because when it was coming out this door right here kept hitting it and this this hose here of course I use air hose for my supply line and this hose actually sticks out a little further so when I put it on it was coming out even further than before and I was saying I need to stop and get a 90 well, I did stop at the hardware store by the house, and they didn't have any. So, I kind of put it off. Well, since we were doing work on the stuff today, I went ahead and I went by Lowe's, and they had the piece I needed. So, I got that fixed up, too. So, 90 there. I don't have to worry about the door crushing the hose. Got new hose, new vacuum motors. So, I think that's all, everything that I need to do. We should be set. By the way, this stuff right here is awesome. This is what we use for our deodorizer. And it's it's a deodorizer, but it's also an odor counteractant. It works really good. Let's see if I can get it on camera. Smoke and fire odors, vomit and urine odors, pet odors, cooking odors, uh, mold and mildew odors, stale smoke and beverage odors, and many others. And it really does work. I pay about 20 I think $22 a gallon for this stuff and you can actually it's cheaper than that some places but the supply house I use that's just what it is and I don't have to pay shipping on it but if you're looking for a good general deodorizer that actually counteracts some odors I recommend this you want to smell it smells good doesn't it this is the scent that I generally use the spice green tea they have another one called desert rain and it smells good but it's very very potent and it's a little strong for some people this one while it's still potent the odor is not quite so or the smell is not quite so uh in your face and people love this smell now there was another one i got that i smelled it smells really good and it's the lavender so i bought a 
a smaller bottle of it just to try it out and see if the customers like it. But any of these Rizzo odor products are really good. I think you can even get them on Amazon. So if you're looking for a good general deodorizer, check these out.